This is it, Corvo. Your last memories of Dunwall Tower might not be good ones, huh? So maybe you can make up for what happened back then. It'll be a bit of a climb from the water lot. I'm used to climbing. The thing is killing the Lord Regent. He built himself quite a place at the top of the tower. Calls it his safe room or something. Crazy if you ask me. Another point of interest while I'm giving you the grand tour, Corvo. Broadcast control station here where all them announcements come from. Might be worth looking into. You ready? Next time I see you, the Lord Regent will be dead. And if not, well, it was an honor to serve with you. <clears throat> okay. Uh, freeze. I don't see anybody. So let's make moves. Huh? I did reload so I could take that guy out again before he saw me. Don't you love the view from here? This place makes me sad. Why is that? This is where the Empress was killed by that wretched murderer. Everything changed for the worse after that day. It was a dark day for sure, but things were already bad with the plague. In any case, I wouldn't dwell on it. Let me comfort you. I need to get back to work. Can I come by and see you later? I don't think it's a good idea tonight. Don't be a douchebag. It's just as beautiful as I remember. It won't hurt to check again. I'm going to head down and retire to my bedroom. Begging your pardon, sir, but I think it would be best if you stay in your safe room on the roof for now. I need the comfort of my own bed tonight. Trust you and your men can handle the tower security. Couple the guard if you have to. Come see me before you finish your round. Ah, uh, yes, so I have the skeleton key. I think that means I can go wherever I want. Sewers beneath Dunwall. Have I read this? No! It's a new note! Across the generations, the aqueducts and tunnels beneath the city of Dunwall have served a variety of purposes. In the earliest days of the city's history, several primary canals were used to channel river overflow during times of flooding. And for a time, it was fashionable for wealthy aristocrats to commission underground water passages, giving them access to their estates from Renhaven River and its minor t tributaries. Over the years, these tunnels began to interconnect, sometimes by design and sometimes by accent. The history of Dunwall's system is rich. As every ch school child is taught, Rebels used the sewers extensively during the Morley Insurrection. As discussed in popular bar songs, lovers often find privacy in some of the cleaner entry points, with fresh air brought in on the winds from the river itself. On a darker note, 
In addition to seeing traffic from gangs and smugglers, it is rumored that the current Royal Spymaster himself, Hiram Burroughs, has a network of informants who know the twists and turns of the sewer system by heart. Until recent times, the older tunnels suffered from repeated collapse, creating sinkholes that occasionally consumed entire street corners. The current system rarely suffers from such calamity, since the sewers were reinforced and expanded by the city planning department during the ruler of Emperor Yuhorn Kalbin I. I think that's how you say his name. I'm sorry. What? I went down a whole flight of stairs. I should be golden. Note, self arc pylons are very sensitive. Can I let this explode? Please, please don't hurt me. You're here to kill the Regent, aren't you? Spare my life, and I can help you beat him. He makes recordings on audiograph, secrets. Some that would destroy him if others heard. Played on this amplifier, his confessions will be broadcast throughout the city. He'll be ruined. Okay, two things. Why would Hiram record secrets? Second, and most importantly, why would he keep them? Is he trying to get himself caught? The audiograph card you want is in a safe in the Lord Regent's room, but I was able to see the combination over his shoulder. 935. Trust me, what's recorded on that card will do the trick. The Abbey of the Everyman is the seat of religious power and inspiration for all overseers across the Empire. The Order arose over the years to protect the common people from the ravages of the Outsider until the need for a central bastion of authority was deemed necessary. The imposing structure is a destination for pilgrims seeking refuge or guidance. Many mistakenly attribute the Abbey's construction to High Overseer Benjamin Holger, when it was actually Holger's successor, John Clavering, who laid the foundation. Shortly after the Abbey was completed, every overseer in the land gathered there and began a trek to White Cliff. There, a great siege commenced, as the overseers purged the region. The battle raged against heretics, witches, and thralls of the outsider. Though Holger was killed in the struggle, White Cliff was cleansed, as ceremonial rites that followed lasted for a month, giving birth to many invocations and speeches which were inscribed in tomes and carried back to the abbey where they are still revered today. So I still have to go to his bedroom. That sounds fun. 935. Was coming out here. <laughs> Did you lose something?
If you're wondering why I didn't just bend time and take the thing out of the lock, so am I. That would have been smart and quick. Oh, you got to be kidding me. What's this? Lord Regent, our search for the missing Lady Boyle continues with limited results. No one seems to know what happened to her, though there was a rumor circulating that she left the party by boat. It seems unlikely, but in any case, the witness in question saw nothing more. So even that le lead went cold. Also, it's undoubtedly not worth your time, and I hesitate to even mention it, but apparently, on the night of the Boyle party, someone signed the guest book as Corvo Ashano. It must be a perverse joke, surely. However, you asked to be notified of all such matters, and in truth, we never located the Royal Protector's body. So I thought it best to bring it to your attention. Sorry for troubling you with this matter. And I know Lady Boyle is dear to you. Rest assured, we will be we will redouble our efforts to locate her. Tadkin Galloway. You didn't see me? Lord Spymaster, we had a specific agreement and I planned around it. The Royal Protector wasn't a part of that agreement. You assured me that she and the girl would be alone, so the price of the job just went up. Send the coin to the alternate dead drop, or you can be sure we'll become calling. Doubt. Now take a peek inside your safe. Ain't that a sight? General Tobias, any word on the masked felon? Our assassin? We have our best spies on it, but still no word on his identity. There are rumors he uses witchcraft. <laughs> he hides behind a mask and uses parlor tricks on the weak-minded. Of course, sir. Trust me, we'll find him. I hope so, General. Leave me now. Yes, Lord Regent. Oh, my dear, I miss you so. If only I'd put on a mask and attended your party. Why didn't you have a mask to attend the party? You're the Lord of Regent Where now. Where could he have gone? He just vanished after Coldridge. What kind of Lord I doesn't have access to masks? Right now. He'd have ideas. Oh, looks like you had a rune this whole time. Where'd you get that? He just vanished after Coldridge. You already said that. Let's go. I explain, then you will see. I am not at fault. My poverty eradication plan was meant to bring prosperity to the city, to rid us of those scoundrels who waste their days in filth and drink without homes or occupations other than to beg for the coin for which the rest of us toil. And it was a simple plan. Bring the disease-bearing rats from the Pandisian continent let them take care of the poor for us. The plan worked perfectly. First, I ordered them to put down your weapons. As if they saw it under me. They hid from the catchers and bred the sick and the wicked. Soon it didn't matter. Rich, poor, all were falling sick. Thank you. And then people began to destroy the city. I stole that of money while I do that. The Empress assigned me to investigate whether the rats had been imported by a former. Is it all done? You ready to go back to the Hound Pits? Yep. Thanks to you, Corvo. All right, let's go. I think we can rest now. Yep, it was just that one guy. He caught me, but nobody died, so.
Were there any other special actions I could have taken? Big changes. Makes me uneasy to tell the truth. A small fry like me always gets the worst of it. Why is that? It's going to be different now. Lord Regent is gone. The Abbey has a new high overseer. I'm guessing our work is almost done. The others are in the bar. No doubt waiting to raise a glass in your name. Me, I think I'll just linger out here if you don't mind. Reflect on things while we have a moment. Congratulations, Corvo. Congratulations to you as well. I know it's a good day, but the rats are still here, aren't they? I look out at the river and still see the bodies going by. I wonder if the Admiral can get me a post in the Navy. I don't need anything fancy. I guess you'll be headed back to the tower soon. Gonna be a little easier this time, I hope. The river was in a temper this morning. Well, it's got moods, it does. Like my poor wife used to. If you should have any need of me, I'll still be ready to go, Corvo. Just because the Lord Regent is defeated, doesn't mean I'll get lazy. I like to hear that. We could use good, more hard-working people. Back already? I'm happy to talk. I suspect my charm is the only thing keeping me alive. Right. I'm beginning to suspect the Lord Regent is no longer in power. Am I correct? If so, either my usefulness is at an end, or else it is just beginning. You'd be foolish to kill me now. I can help your cause. I have inventions no one knows about. Who said anything about killing you? There's something odd about you. As I might have mentioned, I know that mark on your hand. Have you ever dealt in black magic? How do we know it's black magic? Piero's not such a bad fellow. I wish he'd forget about that business at the academy. Don't we all? I guess Piero's gonna be at the party as well. Won't be long now. Barring some unfortunate turn of events or betrayal, I will soon have a very astonishing title. Royal Physician. Now it's too much like Sokolov. Maybe it's time for a change. A reimagining something that will shake the Academy of Natural Philosophy to its stones. Royal Alchemist. Physicist. Royal Astrological Metaphysician. Whatever floats your boat. Corvo! Everyone says you did something good tonight. We're leaving I think I did. I don't know if I want to go back to the tower. I can be impressed from anywhere, right? Maybe a ship. Damn me, he's done it. Word is spreading all over the city. The tyranny is over. By this time tomorrow, Emily will be on the throne. After that, we'll clear your name and put everything we've got into rebuilding the city. I wish there were more of a city to rule. Most of Dunwall is rats and corpses. The Admiral was right, I'm afraid. Corvo, you did your job while the rest of us sat on our asses. Our work starts tomorrow. Tonight, rest easy. Tomorrow, we crown an empress. Nice. To Corvo, the man who served to change the course of history. To Emily Cole, and the new dawn rising for Dunwall and the Empire. She'll need higher mathematics, court protocol, and cosmology, of course. Do you provide these things? Of course not, no. I just think I should have a central role. She trusts me. You'll it's true, she free does, of that. she should trust all of you us. You know, we should hold a reunion of this stuff. When this is over, I'm going to have a truly fantastic set of clothes. What's that about? You know Emily is quite special. She's learned from all of us, you especially. She trusts you absolutely, I believe. 
Emily's happier, I think. She's such a quiet child sometimes. It will be good to hear people laugh in the streets again. I know we're supposed to relax now. I wish I could. Lista, why do you look funny? Just think. I'll have tutored an empress. What will you do after this, I wonder? Get married? Eh, yeah, yeah, no. I made a list of all the swear words the Admiral uses. But Calissa made me throw it away. I don't know how Fox smells like tobacco. Do you think I can order him to throw away his cigars? Of course you can. What is wrong with my eyes? You're not going to leave me when I'm Empress, are you? Of course not. I'm going to stay right by your side. I hope I'll make a good Empress. Overseer Martin says I will. How many dresses will I have when I'm Empress? Calista says a hundred, but I just don't know if that's enough. You are an impressive man, Corvo. I hope they give you the credit you deserve. A man like you must be thinking of settling down. The Hound Pits pub will be open for business again soon. And so will I. Was that a euphemism? Gotta get the beds in order. All this celebrating makes me feel 17 again. Hello, Corvo. The Pendletons owe you a debt. I'll need some men to move these furnishings back to the manor. So many dead. When things are better, I will suggest my lord fund a memorial to them. Everyone deserves to be remembered. Everyone? At last, an empress on the throne again. Blood will tell. I'll actually miss this dank, dreary building when we return to the manor. You will? Okay, that's it for him. Emily's first act will be to rescind the warrant for your arrest. We can finally take that mask off. Eat well tonight, Corvo. You heard. We'll find this man down. Part of the Lord Regent's ring. Skulking spies and killers, no doubt. One of the strangest campaigns I ever fought. There's a pretty little forest just north of Holdfast, just waiting to be turned into frigates. Campbell's Black Book lets me control the Abbey, but only at a price. The Outsider has failed at destroying Gunmore. The people have been brought to their knees, but they are strong and are beginning to rise again. We took control of the Abbey through blackmail, but perhaps over time we can wield a more legitimate authority. I must have a portrait made. Maybe Sokolov will do, after what we've been through here. I wonder what the histories will say of I must remember to burn that memoir. Yeah, you didn't sound very nice in it. Emily comes first. In a pinch, Wallace could manage the estate. I really must get a wife. Still a few boils left, I suppose. Now, which was the prudish one again? You speak less and do more than any man I have known. I swear I'll help you find the murderer who struck down the Empress. Your life will be changed very soon. The city watches rock through and through. Time to impose a little Navy discipline. Hey, Cecilia, can you help me? I'm feeling weird. Do you think Piero will ever want to marry? I mean, hypothetically. You talk to him more than I do. Just about gadgets. The Lord Regent falls, and I'm still here. Something good is coming. I could feel it. As long as you're alive, everything should be good. Emily is taller and more beautiful each day. Congratulations, Mr. Corvo. Maybe they'll let me sleep in tomorrow. I hope so. Feels nice to sleep in. It's giving me the option to talk to her some more, but I can't do it. I'm pressing square over and over. I guess I'll just go upstairs and try to sleep this off. 
whatever this is. Samuel, you move like you've been drinking. Did the poison work its magic? Is he dead? It better have worked. It cost me a month's profit. Yes, sir. I believe Corvo has breathed his last. Just as you wanted. You've done a fine job, then. Remember, we need the body. If we come forward with the corpse of the man who murdered the Empress, we'll be greeted as heroes. Yes, it'll grant us legitimacy. We'll be the men who rescued Emily and brought down the Lord Regent, and his assassin. You'll see to the body, won't you, Samuel? Yes, sir. I'm sorry something terrible, Corvo, but I only gave you half the poison. They were watching me, and it was all I could think to do. I think you're strong enough to survive that. I'll put you on a raft, and then I've got to ship out myself, before they find out I've got against their wishes. Snakes. They'll want to do the same to me as soon as I've outlived my uses. Hopefully you'll wake up and find your way out of this cursed city. I thank you kindly for trying to do something. Some loyalists they were. Emily! This is the one who was with the Empress when she died. Poison. Tivian stuff. Amateur work. He'll live. That's up to Dowd. Dowd. Here? I'm still sneezy from something. I have no idea what. to you when you visit his shrines. I visited those shrines too. And I know what it felt like to shovel blade into your empress. But I don't know you, who you are, and who you fight for. You're a mystery, and I can't allow that. The Void! Here you are at last, in a ruined and drowning world, held captive by the man who killed your Empress, the assassin Dowd. Your friends poisoned you and dumped your body in the river. Thank you for reminding me of the past three minutes. Did they do it to protect themselves, so no one would ever know what they'd done? Or was it because they were a single move away from controlling an empire? and they knew you'd never let them manipulate Emily. Maybe none of these. Perhaps that's just the nature of man. I don't think it's so much the nature of man as it is the nature of assholes. Well, at least I got a friend in here.
They let me keep my mask. That was nice of them. Oh, sorry. They had me to kill you guys. Oh, you sick. Yeah, it would kill them too. Are you kidding? I am not doing it on purpose, I promise. Shouldn't have made the trapdoor out of wood now, should have yet. Doubt. Yeah, finding Corvo in position of that mess could have been an elaborate frame job. But now, the newly minted Lord Regent Havelock is announcing to all the city that he has proof linking Corvo to the masked felon. The bounty is 30,000 coins, but if Corvo truly is the masked felon and is responsible for all the things the wanted posters accuse him of, I accept the bounty to double, because we have him alive. We should be able to border from even more. Regarding Slackjaw, we watched him for a week, and when we're ready to make our move, he suddenly disappeared. Maybe he left the city. I do hope Slackjaw's okay. Even though I kind of screwed him over. This is the musical device the Overseer had strapped to his chest. While it was functioning, we were unable to perform transversals. Ooh. Or tetherings. I suggest we get a good look at it. Yeah, that happened to me too. Excerpt from Bounty Ledger. Brunagan? Eliminated. 1,500 coins paid. Sallard, location unknown. Elizabeth, abducted. Delivered. 2,000 coins. Booth, eliminated. Payment refused. Employer eliminated. Unknown masked man. Revealed to be Corvo. Slackjaw, location unknown. Corvo, in custody. Should to be delivered alive. Oh! You poor guy. Letter to Overseer Franklin. Overseer Franklin, wasn't it? When we speak next, I hope you will tell me two things. First, what do the strictures tell you about being imprisoned in a cell you could easily escape? Were your legs not shattered? Secondly, how your kind knew the location of our base and what exactly you hope to accomplish there? by marching a hopelessly outnumbered band of fools through chest-high water. Doubt. I never liked the Overseers, but I did not wish to see them slaughtered. You were right. That was easy to escape. Letter to Bernie. I think I have what you're looking for. A rail car containing blueprints for an advanced ammo type it was lost in the flooded district. The fools who designed it thought it would be so valuable that they sent the only copy along the elevated lines running through that abandoned place. It never reached its destination. I suggest you start your search at Rush Rudshore Central Rail Station. Be bloody careful. Rumor has it that the Whaler Gang has their territory somewhere in that area. If you see any sign of them, run like mad. Tusky. all the way up there. Refinery Manager's Log. Excerpt from a work log. The tankers marked Batch B coming from the Whale House Slaughter Yard need to be connected to the deeper pipe row only. These barges contain blubber from juvenile whales 
and have to undergo a different refinement process to ensure the same level of potency. We need to get the tankers emptied and back out to the whale house as fast as possible. Greaves Lighting Oil Company is on track for record profits this quarter, and I want it to be the refinery that gets the credit for it. Not those ass scratchers at the whale house. Refinery safety notice. Remember to keep the stair in the up position at all times, unless there's a shift change or an emergency. Failure to do so may result in damage to equipment and or loss of life. In the event of an actual emergency, the main power will be shut off. Use the backup replacement to your right to restore power to the control panel. You need whale oil first, buddy. even is that. Hey Stu, here's the dead. Here's the deal. The old Greaves refinery still has vats filled with processed whale oil that no one's touched. We just need to collect a bunch of empty tanks and use the pumps they have at the front station to fill them back up. With the water levels so high, we'd be able to just pull a boat in and out. No problem. Just don't go alone. There's river crusts everywhere. Those critters are rough. Mitch. Oh, so that's what I'm facing over here. These are the river crusts that I've heard so much about. This one is resourceful. You'll find a way. You're right. I will find a way. Whether you like it or not. Refinery Foreman's Note. Tell your shift captain to assign a maintenance berg for every shift. The conduits keep shortening out up here. At least authorize us to put a whale oil canister on the backup receptacle next to the bridge to keep the power flow steady. We're Greaves Company for crying out loud. You'd think we'd be able to afford an extra one of our own oil tanks. Or if you need me to make it simple for you, with no power, the bridge stays up. If the bridge stays up, we can't access the refinery pit. No pit access, we don't do our jobs. Plain and simple. Yeah, that's about as plain and simple as you can get. Which is exactly what I would need. Otherwise, I don't get it. Thankfully, this ain't filled with oil yet. But now it is. So, careful. What the... What are you doing? I did not tell you to jump off. I canceled my blink. I guess it's just that time of year. It's sick. Because God knows you can't be healthy all year, right? I think a shower did me good. Oh, I didn't just take one this morning. But... Uh... Seriously? Fine, I'll just take you out first.
kind of know why Bat Weeper in particular felt so compelled to look behind him every time I tried to take her out. But not only that, but there were the other times where I would just blink over to this area and then she would turn around, or they would both turn around. It's like, fucking pick one. Out at sea, they secured the beast with hooks, with lines cast from the main ship, and from several smaller boats. Bayous keep the whale from diving deep. Once it's caught, a larger hook is driven through the tail, which is used to hoist the creature up on the, the chute. They moan and bellow for some time as the men get them on, onto deck, then lift them into the scaffolding overhead. The ship adjusts its prow and returns to, part, to port in Dunwall, where the crew works on the great creature slicing off the fattiest parts while it still lives. Pretty sure that's animal cruelty here in the States, but, well, this isn't the States. It's not just any weeper, that's Campbell. Campbell's curse. Curse that fool Hiram Burroughs, Lord Regent. My lily white bottom. We almost had it all. Now, I will wear the Heretic's brand for the short remainder of my days. The Heretic's brand of all things. I should have banned the ritual, but in truth I plan to use it against a few undesirables, should the need arise. Perhaps even Hiram. Now it's all lost. When I spy my own reflection in a puddle of filthy water, I see failure burned under my face. I am cast out. And now the plague is upon me. Already the fever grows, and my thoughts are as slippery as hagfish. It won't be long before I'm drooling and moaning, and bleeding from the eyes. Last week I was spitting, sipping fine Tivian wines, and enjoying the comforts rightfully afforded to my position within the Abbey. Today I sleep in filth, lost in this bleak, destroyed district. If my mind is going to rot away, then let these be my last words. The final coherent thoughts of Thaddeus Campbell, a great man, a verkeous lover of life in all its flavors and adores, and once high overseer in the great capital city of Dunwall itself. From the blackness of the void, I fling curses upon the head of Corvo Tano. It was he who cost me everything I held dear. May flies nest in your eyes, Corvo. And may all your desires come to ruin, as you have ruined mine. Well, maybe one day you'll be healed from the terrible plague. And when you are, I hope you'll come to your senses and realize that you only brought this upon yourself. You're geared for field work. I have a job tonight. What's the delay? I am gatebound, not riverbound. A guard holds the key to the tunnel and is asked not to be disturbed. Is that it? Correct. This prisoner we took. The bodyguard who was with the Empress seemed to trouble him gravely. Yes. I feel that we've reached a turning point tonight. Yes. Good luck on your assignment when you're permitted to leave. Hmm. I guess that was unnecessary. Scene. Stay in the shadow and avoid the light. Cross to the other side of the room without attracting notice. Very 
very good. I did not see you approach. Now, attempt a transversal. Do not focus on your destination with your eyes. That is folly and will limit the potential of the power. You know the layout of the room. Instead, focus on where you wish to be standing, and it will be so. Excellent. We have no more to teach you for now. Return to your place of rest. Your real work with us begins tomorrow night. from confinement, from the whole area. And the men on beach swear they saw absolutely nothing. It's actually impossible. The bridge is refining when they started. What do you know about That he knows your work better than you do. Deal with the sentries as you see fit. As for Corvo, I suspect that in time he will come to me here. He'll have to. same apparatus that gave you life to begin with. Laws and courtrooms and a mighty swell of public outrage. Good riddance to you, sir. So many schemes you had, and so many contracts. How many people did I kill for you? None like the last. None like her. I'd give back all the coin if I could. No one should have to kill an empress. latest log entry. 18 years on this wretched rock, in this city of filth. I felt the blood of scholars, noble pedophiles, guildsmen, unfaithful lovers, politicians who were far, just too far from their own good. Politicians who were for Politicians who were far too just for their own good. And of law enforcers who came too close to bringing the wrong man to justice. Why shouldn't Empress be any different? Why should I feel the entire weight of this dying city crushing down on my back? Corvo, Lord Protector, is of Circonus, just as I once was. I might have known that fact already, but it didn't matter until I recognized his face. It brought back distant memories of home, and the optimistic young man I once was. What would I find if I went back there? Would I find that it is rotted from the inside, just like Dunwall? Or will it only appear that way because I'm the one who's rotted? Excerpt from a recent historical work on King Sparrow Island. King Sparrow Island sits in the middle of the Renhaven River, and up through the previous century, it was only used by fishermen and for occasional religious ceremonies. During the time of Morley insurrection, a fort and naval dock were added to the island as a means of protecting the city from attacks by sea. In the time of the Rat Plague Crisis, shortly after the tragic death of Empress Jessamine Caldwin, Dunwall's acting regent, Hiram Burroughs, commissioned the construction of a modernized military installation and lighthouse on the island. Burroughs' lighthouse, only recently completed, is widely considered to be one of the marvels of the modern age, humming with Sokolov's technologies powered by process whale oil.
Throughout the ages, rulers have always faced attempts on their lives. Once in a generation, the Empire is rocked by the death of a powerful political or religious figure. As such, city-states across the Isles have devised varying strategies for protecting their leaders. In the capital city of Dunwall, each new emperor is allowed to appoint a royal protector. This is for more than a trusted bodyguard, much more revered than the hand-chosen guards defending Dunwall's tower, or the food tasters. The royal protector is a court figure, given enormous latitude, who keeps constant company with the highest ruler in the known world. At the age of 12, the young monarch participates in the selection of process, making the final decision about who will safeguard his or her life. While most of the chosen as royal protector have been men, several times throughout history, a woman has served well in the role. For the first time in Dunwall's history, a monarch has been slain by her own bodyguard. At the time of this writing, with Dunwall in the grip of the worst plague ever recorded, our fair Empress Jessamine Colbert has just been murdered. The deed was done by her former royal protector turned assassin, Corvo Otano, who is still sitting in Coleridge Prison awaiting his disturbed execution. Some argue that it is worth noting that Corvo Otano is the first royal protector in the history of the Empire, born outside the Isles of Bristol. The Rudd Shore Chamber of Commerce Once the financial heart of the Empire, the Rudd Shore Financial District was a hive of trade activity. No district employed more barristers, accountants, or indeed, more security. And no part of Dunwall saw a greater flow of coin. When the flooded barriers broke and the water rolled in, the, loading, the looting that followed was accompanied by an epic period of chaos and butchery. Those who could withdraw and move their assets did what they could. Others, with their wealth tied up in grand mansions and artwork, last lost it all. When the last of the high society set had withdrawn and the lights went dark, Rudshore was a gloomy, crumbling shell of what it had been, inhabited by thieves, wild dogs, and rats. Once great palaces of commerce sat empty and haunted, or come to the house killers and mercenaries as well as anyone else looking to hire from the city watch. In mere months, the flooded district was settled upon as the most proper name for the place. Nice try, Corvo. two others could fight against the ticking of the clock. I've waited for this. Let's see if the outsider will save your life or mine. I think I made the mistake of showing myself. So that's the only way to take him out. Is by choking him. I guess that makes sense. Dowd, I'm satisfied. Corvo would have been very useful to me. But your improvisation was exemplary. Him taking the fall for the crime simplified matters greatly. I hope you're equally satisfied with the payment. I shall contact you again shortly for additional assignments. The Eradication of Black Sally. Excerpt from a popular story of crime and daring. 
by Jules Rogan and the City Watch. Before Slackjaw ran the streets in the distillery district, there was no boss more ruthless, violent, or dedicated to squeezing the average citizens for the coin than Black Sally. Like so many from Morley, she was pale-skinned and green-eyed, with hair as black as the void. They say that she started young, and as a girl she'd stun a man with her looks, coming upon him in an alley, then smile, a one-sided smile, and suddenly run him through with a knife. She'd have his money, or be on her way before he breathed his final breath. As a boss, she was worse. Rolling over the meanest street gang Dunwall had seen up to that time. Her operation touched everything from shipping to prostitution. She even had a rocket going with the Baker's Guild. A finger in every pie, indeed. One man watched Captain Jules Rowan made it his mission to stop her, and kept the case going for half a decade. Black Sally met her end when Robin had his men light smoke fires and barrels near the warehouse where she hid out during the day. As she and her gang rushed into the streets, terrified the building was burning, Captain Robin and his top officers threw nets over them and ran them all through with blade pistol sh in a shot. Empress Justine Colwyn, excerpt from a book on the late Empress. Many of those who live through her reign will weep until the ends of their lives over the pale beauty with the piercing eyes and the foul end she met at the hands of her own twisted servant and protector. In her father's day, the Caldwins were thrust into the limelight despite their distance to the throne, when their former dynasty provided no heirs. A prosperous age followed the Emperor, but his daughter would have would have different luck. During her short life, political intrigue and minor conflicts creaked, created cracks in the Empire, undermining unity across the Isles. The Rat Plague, however, was a terror for which neither Empress Colwyn nor any other living being was prepared. So you've lost it all. Ruined at last. Lord Regent. Royal Spy Master. Hiram Burroughs. You small, worried man. You'll never know how many times I've thought about trying to get close to you again. Just to put a piece of sharp metal in your eye. But now there's no need. You've been taken down by the same apparatus that gave you life to begin with. Laws and courtrooms and the mighty swell of public outrage. Good riddance to you, sir. So many schemes you had, and so many contracts. How many people did I kill for you? None like the last. None like her. I'd give back all the coin if I could. No one should have to kill an empress. Feeling a bit guilty, Dowd? I didn't find all the runes, or bone charms in here, but it doesn't matter. At this point in the game, I just want to find Emily again, make sure she's safe. I don't care about anything else anymore. To be fair, there were quite a few of Dowd's men just all around this district looking for me, I guess. So, it was hard to get through that. In addition to the fact that I'm sick now, 